Good morning, happy Saturday. Had a nice lie in this morning. It's probably, let me have a look. It's half nine, it's had a bit of a lie in. Very late night again. Watched a really strange movie called Prisoners with um, Hugh Jackman in it and Jake Gyllenhaal. It was very bizarre. Yeah, <laughs> it was a good movie. The ending was a bit strange though. But look what we have woken up to this morning. Still snowing a little bit. I've done a little bit of strength training. Well, a little bit of stretchy yoga. I won't go as far as say strength training. A bit sore after yesterday's Joe Wicks. Uh, watching David and Ian's weekend vlog and having some breakfast. The coffee's made. Just a normal instant coffee today. And I've got some waffles. I've got some waffles, Greek yogurt, and some honey. Look at that. Oh yeah. Not a healthy bit. Well. This bit's healthy. Looks so good. It's many hours later. I'm dressed, I'm showered. We've been out to Aldi. Sorry, I've got food all around my mouth. Um, we've been, yeah, food shopping. Just having lunch. This is all lockdown's about. I'm going shopping, having lunch, and a brew. I've got some green tea. It's not a coffee this time. Nice cup of green tea. Oh, nobody else like green tea. A lot, I know a lot of people don't. I like the one with lemon in it or the lavender one. I think it's lavender. Um, it's really, really nice. Having some lunch, got a sourdough sandwich with, I just really felt seeded sourdough sandwich with some ham and Philadelphia. I think it's a little bit dry, a little bit disappointing. What's he doing? Um, the kids are having some fresh baked gets. David's having some cheese and crackers. And then we're going to go for a walk. The snow has already gone. It's already melted. But let's just get out of the house and get some fresh air. There are a few sto snow showers coming, I think. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Apparently there's some more snow showers coming. Whether it's going to stick on the ground or not, I don't know. And I really don't know what I've got planned for the rest of the day. If it's not too snowy, we're going in the garage. Is that all right? It's far too snowy. It's not too snowy. I'm going in the garage. Yes. Yes, we are. So I'm getting sick of this hate stuff still in my house. It's going out. I'm out in the fresh air, just having a walk down the canal. The same route we went a few weeks ago. All right? Yes. Yes. It's busy down here today, isn't it? Yes. Lots of people on bikes, lots of people. Are you going backwards? I don't know. Yeah, lots of runners, lots of joggers, lots of walkers, lots of people oh, on bikes. Nice flat path. So obviously it's not flooded, which is good. Let's see if we can go to the little cafe on the bridge. Fingers crossed it's open. It is a little bit late though, but let's see. What do you want? Got a coffee? Cold milkshake or something. Cold milkshake, it's freezing. It's early January. Oh. Mm. All the snow seems to be going and it's a bit muddy. How cute is this little barge here? It's called Walton Perk because this is a, um, that's where the park is. It's closed on a Monday, but it's open kind of all week. Lovely hot drinks and cakes and biscuits. It's so cute. Such a fantastic idea. And it, especially at the weekend, it's always, always busy. Just pick up a coffee and then head to the park. So over there is a miniature train hub or something. So at the weekends on a Sunday as well, pre-lockdown and COVID, they used to have a miniature train going, steam engines and electric ones. I spent my childhood on those trains over there. It's such a shame that at the minute it isn't going ahead. But then I suppose lots of things aren't going ahead at the minute. So just stopped for a bit of a refuel and refreshment. This used to be an old train station sort of 
electronic stop and it's now been turned into a cafe. Obviously during normal times the cafe is open. It's somewhere Dave and the kids have always wanted to come in. But they're now selling takeaways in this little window here. So they've had to modify the layout a little bit, but looking forward to going. Some people are walking away with the most amazing looking milkshakes. For me it's a bit too cold, but I'm not sure what the kids fancy just yet. Snip to Holland and Barrett to get some few bits that I need for my lean in 15 days. Walking through the local high street, it's so sad seeing all the shops shut. Such a shame. I just think we need to all be sensible about it and the shop should stay open. Anyway, don't find the kids and David. Just walking back, but I do believe, look, it's the sun. The sun's come out. A bit of blue sky over there. Go through, Harry. Thank you. Super busy down here, but look, blue skies. Back from the walk now, just thawing out a little bit, having a cup of tea. <laughs> No surprises there, is there? Making some dinner. So we're having a English traditional meat potato hash, I suppose it's called, or with dumplings. So it is a very simple recipe. Can we just all stop to appreciate this pan? Not only is it massive, it's an amazing colour. It's one of the best kitchen gifts that David's ever bought me, this little crew pan. There we go. It's potatoes, boiling with some mince and carrots, and then we're gonna add some dumplings. So yeah, just a hearty, very quick and easy meal. Nice and warming on a winter's day. And also, can we just stop to appreciate this biscuit? A malted milk. This is also a very underrated biscuit. What's your favourite biscuit? Leave a comment down below. This isn't my favourite biscuit, but it's very underrated. Good old chocolate digestive. That's my favourite biscuit. What's yours? And here is the finished product. How amazing do these dumplings look? Mm. Gotta have it with some beetroot. Brown sauce. Zip it. Good morning, happy Monday. I don't know what day of the week it is. They're all merging into one. Because I was at work yesterday and at work today. I feel like today should be Tuesday. Happy Monday. I just wanted to quickly jump on, just say hello, and tell you what's happening this week. So, well, from now on really. I'm starting leading 15. I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna get leader. I'm gonna get fitter. <sighs> Good to take you with us. I'm going to take you with me for trying some motivation. I think I've done it before on a video about six months ago, probably more. I'm going to get stronger and fitter, but I feel like I'm in the right mindset now. After I've had an injury and Christmas and I didn't do dry January because I didn't want to and it's locked out, I'm, I think I'm a bit more determined this time. So I'm going to do Joe Wicks Lean in 15. If anybody has seen it before, um, it's his healthy living diet program. He does a 90 day uh, thing, this SSS that you can sign up to. I'm not paying the money because I know that I'll have cheat days and I'll feel guilty for it. I've signed up to Weight Watchers before and recently I just cancelled my subscription because I wasn't doing it. I didn't log my cheat days. There's no point in it. So this is just a bit of a more healthy mindset, 
I'm not sure how it's gonna go with running when, especially when I increase my miles, but at the minute I'm not doing anything and my miles are gonna be quite, not as big as the marathon anyway. Let me show you what I've got. I'm all prepped and ready for work. Not sure what shift I'm doing today. Not sure if I'm doing an early or a long day. So I either finish at three or I finish at eight. Yeah, um, someone's still waiting for a COVID result back from a family member, so we'll just see. Well, I'll probably end up working till eight anyway. The staff will probably need me to stay a little bit longer. Let's show you what I've prepped. Lots of food containers for work. So I've got, so basically, a Joe Wick, sorry, I'll start again. A Joe Wick's workout, Joe Wick's leading 50, basically means you have three meals a day and two snacks. Now when you're not training, three meals are basically keto, so low carb, high fat, to keep you fuller for longer. And then when you do a training day, you can have like a really healthy carb rich meal. Noodles and stir fry, bit of pasta, but sort of a low fat option. This is what I've got. We're on a no training day, high fats, low carbs. So I've got my breakfast all prepped and ready. So I made an omelet last night with egg and bacon. Emily says it looks like something I've scraped out the bottom of the bin. Thanks Em. I have got um, creamy chicken pasta. No, sorry, not pasta, creamy chicken in a sort of a creamy sauce with some veggies. And one of my snacks today, I've got measured, look, measured almonds. That's what we've got going on. And I'm even being good with my, look, with my drinks. I'm gonna try and reduce the amount of milk I'm drinking and I've got some green tea, so. I do really enjoy lemon green tea, so I'm gonna try and have that more often. Maybe reduce back my coffee intake. That's not gonna happen properly, but maybe if I re like get rid of this coffee before I go to work, and the amount I drink at work, that could work, couldn't it? It'll work, won't it? <laughs> How many times have I just said work? Also, can I just show you something? But we're gonna have to be very quiet. It snowed outside. Not as deep as everyone else has had it recently, but it snowed. It's not what I expected this morning. Come with me. It's all very quiet around here because everybody else is asleep. Sorry about this. But let's look out the window. Back into the kitchen. Yeah, it's not very deep but I wasn't expecting it. So it's 25 past six. I best get going to work to defrost my car and drive carefully in the snow. So see you in a bit. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Look where I am. I'm running. Well, currently walking. So as you can see, it is a little while later. I'm not currently running. I'm dressed, I had a shower, eating my breakfast, which is really nice. The camera cut out, <laughs> the battery died and the camera totally cut out on me. I was back running. It, how incredible is that? I have been out using those legs again, doing a walk run. Bear with me a second, let's see what that message is. Oh. It's David, he's at a hospital appointment, he's just finished and he wants me to come pick him up. And I'm still currently eating my breakfast. Right, let's get going. Hello again. I feel like I've had such a stop start to the vlog today. First of all, I started filming and the camera cut off. Next time I started filming, David messaged to go pick him up from the hospital. So I just feel like I definitely have I've had a bit of a... Definitely stop start. I don't know what else to say really about that. So I did go out for a run this morning. Um, walk run, just a two mile one, just to ease me back into it. And it felt great to be back outside again, which was amazing. Um, trying to do some Lean In 15 body coach. I've said it before, obviously I filmed it on Monday of what I was eating. I've had a post-workout 
carb refuel, as it's called. I had porridge basically with carbs in it. Um, my lunch, I'm going to get some soon. I'm going to do a high fat, low carb meal. So I'm basically going to have avocados with egg and bacon. So yeah, that sounds yummy and I'm really hungry now. Um, trying to get some jobs done. Exciting lockdown day. I'm going to order some things online. That's pretty much it for the day. I've been doing some homeschooling with Harry, so it's nice to help out when I can. I feel like he's gonna—he's really struggling when I'm not here, and he's not telling anybody about it. Because when I'm here, he seems to be asking for a lot more help than everybody else says he needs. So, I'm not sure what that's all about. Whether it's just because I'm here, or he genuinely is struggling and missing out. I do feel like both the kids are missing out on having that interaction at school with the teachers. Um, I think they need that. They, they are doing amazing with what's going on. The live lessons are fantastic, but it's then they're getting homework on top of that as well. So there's this ha hard divider of when the school stops and what, how much work they should be doing then after school as well. I think we just try and need to make it a little bit more clearer and having those separate breaks. So maybe doing a timetable might be useful and having the separate breaks in between, especially for Emily. Um, obviously she's coming up to year 11 um, and all those exams that she needs to be doing and all the revision stuff. So when does she revise? When does she do her homework? When does she do her schoolwork? It's, I think it's all really hard. I suppose try and stick to school nine till three, have a bit of a break and then get on with your schoolwork and then weekends and use those for revision and break it up a little bit more. But it's obviously really important step away from the computer so that's why she's got the day off live lessons today to step away from the computer and not have as much screen time try and get other things done um but i got some post yesterday which i'm really excited to show you so i'm gonna go get it and show you what i've got so this post arrived for me yesterday while i was at work i have already pre-opened it because i'm not great at unboxing videos and look at it, how amazing is this? This is a headband made from Reeves Family Crafted. And we will we'll leave a comment, leave a link down below to their channel and their shop. But how amazing is this Haunted Mansion headband? It's too cute. But well, look, how awesome is it? I just can't wait for it get to get back to Florida to wear it. I think I'll have to completely style this outfit. Haunted Mansion tea, the works. But it's beautiful. Thanks Lisa, I absolutely love it. I don't think I'm much further on with my day really, except the day is much further on itself. It's now about four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna make a coffee. Um, I've been trying to sort through my bedroom, but it's so boring. I think it was bad as the kids, I just procrastinate. I've been watching some great vlogs. I'm just watching Emma Spears, who used to be called Spectro Magic, who is just on a half marathon. So that vlog is right up my street. Um, I've watched, who else, have, who else have I watched? Oh, the amazing Baker family. Um, I will obviously leave a link to all these amazing channels down below, but uh, the Baker family, uh, such a lovely child family to watch. Um, and they play, great games of would you rather so totally up my street just making a coffee we're going for the Kona blend the last of it I just need to order some more through the website now I've been paid so here we go This is thrilling TV, isn't it? There we go. Coffee obviously goes in here. Jug down here, and I'll make some great coffee. The coffee is in, the jug's back on. And we just switch it on. And wait for the magic. Sorry. I love it. I don't know how many times I've said it before. I am totally not sponsored by them or the coffee brands, though I wish I was. Joffrey's, if you're listening, I'm open for sponsorship. 
I've done a crazy thing. I have signed up for a half marathon. Yay! Not till November though, but I'm gonna be running the half marathon round Alton Towers. How incredible is that? I was watching the Despicable 3 this yesterday from their weekend vlog and they mentioned that they did the Alton Towers doing a 10K and a half marathon. I thought, ding, that sounds like right up my street. So that is what I've done. I've signed up to the um, half marathon. Half marathon price is about £38, but the spectator price is 22 I was like, I'm not paying for a spectator, but we get to go in the theme park as well. So we get, um, the race starts around about nine and the half, so the half marathon starts at nine. I think the 10K starts at half nine and then 12 till fair, you get access to the theme park as well. So for about 20 quid a ticket for spectators, I thought it was well worth it. So kids under 13 are 18 pounds and adults, obviously children that are 13 and above and adults are 22 pounds. So to get into Walton Towers for five hours will be amazing. And obviously it's going to be winter, so I know the weather's not going to be amazing, but you never know. And it might be even great going on the, whatever hex or whatever the haunted ones are called at night. And yeah, just having that little bit of something different. So I'm really, really excited about that. Something to look forward to. And hopefully by November, I don't even want to say it. We might be out of this thing that's going on right now. So fingers crossed. Oh my God, the coffee smells incredible. This is my version of procrastination like the kids do. I'm having a coffee, having a snack, and I'll crack on with my bedroom again. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. So it's Wednesday morning. I left you yesterday evening making a brew and we didn't do much else with our evening. We had some dinner, we had a bath, we watched telly and had a brew. Yeah, that's about it. That's all we did. Um, I'm not going to show you every moment of my life. You don't really need to see that. And we had some really nice dinner yesterday from Joe Wicks. Um, chicken and creamy sauce with spinach and white wine. It was really nice. Obviously, I say we. The kids obviously didn't eat it. But I managed to get David to eat it, which is great. Um, I've got Gusto coming today. Um, I think I'm only going to get this box and the next one. It's the first time I've ever used Gusto. I signed up for it because it's the association with Joe Wicks and Lean in 15 and there isn't that much variety and I'm really disappointed in it. There's like only four recipes a week and most of them are repeated. There's only two low carb and two high carb options so I'm not very impressed with that um, and I was hoping that it would save me the hassle of getting together all the recipes and the ingredients but I'm going to have to go back to the recipe books and try it that way and only get the two options. I thought about continuing it for the family but there's the food in there they're just not going to eat. I'm going to look back at HelloFresh. David wants to try a different food. I'm not the greatest cook, so I think I've put him and the kids off most recipes because the meals I make aren't brilliant and I kind of don't always stick to the recipe. And I'm not a chef and it makes the food. Mm. So I think if we're going to go back to have a look at HelloFresh again and see if there's anything that they'll eat. I mean, the only meat David and Emily will eat is chicken and then Harry won't really eat anything unless it's in breadcrumbs or sausages. So I need to find some inspiration, I suppose, try and encourage them to eat better. Uh, there's nothing like me when it comes to food. So maybe HelloFresh is a, a worth a try again if we're not buying meals from me and we're focusing on stuff that they'll eat. So that might be a good option to go back and have a look at again. So like I said, Gusto is arriving today. I am at work tonight, I'm on night, so minimal day today, going to Aldi, um, pottering, doing a few jobs as always, and a nap. So that's about my day today. So I will probably not take you to Aldi, because that's boring, and we all know what the four aisles of Aldi are like, unless there's anything exciting down that middle aisle. Um, and we'll obviously show you the Gusto box when it arrives, and see well, what it's like, and if it's the right thing, and if it looks fresh, and. Yeah, we'll go through that with you when it arrives. So catch you in a bit, guys. I'm just gonna go and dry my hair, had a shower now, because I've had a run. Um, so I'll see you in a bit. Back from the shops now. They're eating them. Hey, David, stop coughing. Back from the shops now. They're eating the McDonald's. 
I've just got a coffee. I'm gonna make my lunch in a minute. I'm trying to stay on plan and be good. These coffees are really nice. Just a plain white coffee. Don't get anything fancy, just plain white coffee. It's actually really lovely. We'll look what arrived while I am. I was out. Sorry, I'm just hiding my address. My gusto box arrived, so let's see what's in it. So here we go. I haven't actually looked in this at all yet. Ooh. So I've got recipe cards here. They're a lot smaller than HelloFresh, but I like it and they're, they feel a bit more robust. The other one, the rope HelloFresh ones are quite papery. Um, whether these actually recycle those different matter. And obviously you can clip them in. So what have we got? We've got a warm halloumi salad with green tomato dressing. I've got a Thai green cur chicken curry, smoky Spanish prawns. I'm sure I ordered four. Oh well, let's see what else we've got in here. Maybe I didn't. a bit of a book. So it looks like all my fresh ingredients are in here. Pepper, courgette, sugar snap peas, some basmati rice. I don't own a microwave so that's going to be interesting. Make sure hopefully I can cook it in the hob. Normally you can cook these on the hob with a just like steam it. Some nice fresh tomatoes. It's all really cold and looks amazing. Oh my god, I got a spoon! How excited I am I? I got a spoon! How good's that? And I assume all the cold stuff is in here. Um, to open, gently pull. Oh, here we go. Oh wow, it's very well insulated. The dinner's in the bag. These look... Bits and bobs for recipes. <laughs> now that is my sort of description bits and bobs. More bits and bobs. Oh my garlic's in here. It's very very cold in here. I like this. So that is just your freezer pack I think. And the rest of the stuff's in here. So I've got some chicken breasts. Um, used by date is the first and today is the 27. So it's a couple of days on it so that's not so bad. Um, and that's not till, the halloumi is not till end of December. And some king prawns, oh they look amazing. And what's the date on there? King prawns are 31st. So yeah, all good. Oh, those king prawns look incredible. Fantastic. I am gonna have a look at this lovely lot and check whether I ordered three meals or four. I really can't remember. I thought I ordered four, but you know me guys. I'm not always very well organised. I'm gonna unpack all this, unpack the rest of my shopping and get my lunch, because I'm starving now. All the ingredients are there. As it turns out, I didn't shop very well. I only ordered three meals. Um, I've got a Spanish smoky prawns and a Thai green prawn curry. I completely forgot what I'd ordered and I've bought prawns at the Naldi. Um, I like prawns. I better like prawns because I've got like three portions of them um, and these meals are all for two and then nobody else is going to eat them so in effect I've probably got six portions of prawns. It's all a bit fishy round here. <laughs> oh well, I think I need to be better at planning. I can plan a Disney vacation. It comes to meals and recipes, not so much. Oh well. I mean, who needs that bowl when you've got something as amazing as this? Sourdough bread toasted with deli meats, uh, mayo and ham and turkey. So it's ham and turkey. I mean, that looks incredible. Dinner was lovely. I'm um, just pottering in the kitchen again. I think this is the one room I spend the most amount of time in sometimes. Um, I did it again. I bought some more storage boxes. I think I need to go to a like a AA meeting, but for storage boxes. I bought another one. 
The kids and David are just like completely like rolled their eyes at me. Sorry, Jay. All the team of so lovers just pop back on. David's not sure what's happening either. But yeah. So I'm trying to sort out this. Surely everyone's under the sink looks like this. So that's what I'm going to do today, for the rest of the day, and then not the rest of the day. That's what I'm just about to do now. Do the lunch dishes. I've got myself some daffodils, so I'm going to pop myself, get these into a vase, and then I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to go to bed for my nap because I am on work night tonight. So this is where I'm going to leave today's vlog, or this week's vlog, and I will see you again at the weekend. Thanks everyone for watching, and I appreciate everybody who's watching and who's subscribed. Please give them a big thumbs up, I really, really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. It just, it obviously anyone that's a small YouTuber or starting out in their journey, it means a lot for people to comment or just to give us that simple thumbs up. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you're all well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.